Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, based on the time you are watching. This video belongs to a series with an aim to educate the masses on the very basics of sustainability and its related topics, including their actions and impacts. No prior knowledge of any subject is required. Let us explore today's topic. Energy efficiency has been discussed a lot lately. There are a few other terminologies like energy conservation, transition, renewable energy sources, etc. are heard today. We will understand what's energy, energy efficiency, and a comparison between energy efficiency and conservation and why it is important. Energy is the ability to do work. There are different sources of energy, like finite sources, coal, oil, natural gas, diesel, etc., and infinite or renewable sources like solar, wind, hydro, etc. Non-renewable need to be extracted and refined, whereas renewables are available all the time. I will discuss renewable energy sources in detail in another video. These resources combine to produce electrical energy, which is then distributed to the consumers via grid. However, only non-renewables produce carbon emissions in the atmosphere during the process which contributes to global warming. As an estimate, 70-75% of global energy is powered by non-renewable sources. The consumers are charged based on how much energy they have used in kilowatt hour. Now, what is kilowatt hour? Watt or kilowatt is power, which is the rate at which the energy is transferred. It is usually seen written on the appliances, considered like a flow rate of water from a pipe. Kilowatt hour is that power sustained for one complete hour. In pipe analogy, the water ending up in the bucket can be considered as energy. And as I said, this is the unit against which the consumer is charged. For example, if you have a 100 watt or 0.1 kilowatt bulb and a 2 kilowatt dishwasher at your home and you run both of them for two hours straight, the tariff will calculate it as 0.2 kilowatt for the bulb and 4 kilowatt hour for dishwasher totaling 4.2 kilowatt hours. Now we know what is energy and how it is being charged and the two factors that it depends upon, kilowatt and hours. Now what is efficiency? It is output that we get by the input that we inject. If we have to make anything more efficient, we need to minimize the input and maintain the same output. That is what energy efficiency is all about, keeping the same output by decreasing the amount of energy being used. We use energy to produce different outputs like heating, cooling, lighting, motor speed, etc. If we can maintain this heating, cooling, and our tariff kilowatt hour is dropping down, we are making our process more energy efficient. Just like having more or similar mileage with less fuel consumption makes a, a vehicle more fuel efficient. With technology evolving, we find new products or appliances in the market that use less power to provide the same output. There are different ratings like Energy Star label or motor IE rating showing how efficient the product is. Now coming to the golden question, why it's important? First, it is obvious that energy efficient solutions cost less when it comes to energy bills. And since 70% of the electricity is being produced by non-renewable sources uh, that are emitting gases in the atmosphere, cutting down the energy use is going to reduce the electricity production as a whole and in turn reduce the emissions in the atmosphere. By the way, we do not have large scale facilities to store electricity. Mostly small scale battery storages are available only, which means that we produce electricity as per the demand. By putting energy efficiency measures, demand is going to reduce and hence the energy production, keeping the emissions limited to the atmosphere, contributing to global climate change. So what is energy conservation? It is simply a practice of using less energy by changing habits like switching off the lights when leaving the room or yelling at your kids to do so, unplugging appliances when not in use. In its most simplest form, we can say that energy efficiency mainly deals with kilowatt part and the conservation deals with the hour part on the tariff. Thank you for watching up to this point. If you want me to discuss any other topic related to this subject, please mention it in the comment and I will try my best to come up with a short video covering the basics. Have a good day.